first product we're going to talk about is John Deere Mobile Weather. And Janae, tell us a little more about what that means to our customers. Thanks, Tyler. We understand that events like we had this morning with a little rain shower come through can affect whether a product is good application is be effective or not. How well a product stays on a plant and how long that has the opportunity to be absorbed into the plant. So we're enabling and allowing our customers to be more efficient. And able to track their wind speed, wind direction, temperature, humidity, and a factor we calculate called delta T. Allow them to gather the information on the go throughout the course of the product application and understanding how effective that product is going to be. Increasing the efficiency and effectiveness of that product. So let's start talking a little bit about history. So how do our customers understand product application today? Or whether the weather conditions are favorable enough for product application? They're stepping outside the cab probably, right? When they're filling that tank. When they're getting a refill of water and chemicals. They're taking that anemometer and measuring the wind speed as it's coming across the cab. They're manually having to stop and understand what's happening in the field. If we can automate that process, we're going to allow them to be more efficient within their entire operation. Or, the other option is what? To use your smartphone? I have now got my local weather station pinned, and I can understand what's happening in the area. But what's the issue? The area that they're recording the information and feeding it to your smartphone is what? By the local airport? Most times, that's not where you're operating at. And how does the weather differentiate between one area to the next? How, what does that mean in terms of the product application? So we're really looking at being able to give our customers the ability to visually indicate whether a product is going to be effective or not, giving them the data to make informed decisions regarding their actual product application. It's giving them the ability to manually or to, the ability to maintain accurate spray records. So the use of our GS3 Green Star 32630 display our product applicators are able to document the weather conditions as they travel throughout the course of the field, just as they're able to document the products, the amount of products that they're being applied. So to see this very product in action, I want to have you turn around. I know some of you guys are hiding in the back for a reason. Now you're the star of the show. So outside, I've got our brand new 4940 self-propelled sprayer. Introduced this last August. And on it, Right on the handrail, I uh, have our John Deere mobile weather solution installed. So that everyone can see it, I've got our display being fed right inside the tent. You can see on my side panel, I'm able to see the temperature, the delta T, my wind speed, and my wind direction. All critical factors to help our customers make informed decisions. I've also got customizable alerts to tell us when conditions can become unfavorable based upon that product application label. We know that some products are going to recommend that you don't apply in a what above 10 to 15 mile per hour winds. Or we understand that our calculated value of delta T, the product is going to evaporate at a value higher, our value of delta T is higher than 18, generally means that the product is going to evaporate before it has enough time to be absorbed into the plant and do what it actually needs to do. So you can see I've got one of my customizable alerts triggered on the display. I sent the temperature that I wanted to reach above 80 degrees, it was going to turn my background red. It's the same that can happen across each of these individual readings. It gives that operator the visual indicator that when the environmental conditions are unfavorable or one of those conditions is above their parameter, they then have the ability to decide what their course of action is. Is it a course where we need to shut down the sprayer? Is it need that we need to adjust pressures, adjust spray speeds? different implications that they can control within that cap, but it's the ability to feed them information, to give them accurate, timely information throughout the course of the field to make those decisions throughout their application process.